Okay, Hikaru. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, so St. Louis Archbishops 2020 Pro Chess League champions, Armenia Eagles disqualified. The St. Louis Archbishops are the winners of the 2020 Pro Chess League Championship. The Armenia Eagles have been disqualified from the 2020 season due to fair play violations. After a thorough investigation, Chess.com's fair play team determined that GM Tigran El Petrosian, who played for the Armenia Eagles, violated fair play regulations during games in both the semifinal and final matches that took place on September 25th and 27th, respectively. Chess.com and the Pro Chess League have issued a lifetime ban against Petrosian for his actions, and per Section F of the league's regulation, the Armenian Eagles have been temporarily banned from participation in future Pro Chess League seasons. Pro Chess League Commissioner I am Greg Shahadi released the following statement. It's always unfortunate when the league is presented with evidence of fair play violations, but we stand behind the evidence presented from Chess.com's fair play team. The 2020 title is the third title overall for the St. Louis Archbishops and their second consecutive championship. Both the Canada Chess Bras and China Pandas will receive $10,000, half of the sum of the second, third, and fourth place prizes. End, end, of, the, end of the story. Um, wow. So, wow. Wow, that was well, right. I, 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 don't, I, don't even know, uh, I don't even know where to start. Um... I guess on on my end here here's here's what I will say about it um to be very clear is that my understanding with chess.com um and their fair play their fair play regulations I know that when they when they do ban people they are willing to go to court. I I yeah. I'm, I know they firmly believe that if someone wants to sue them over getting banned for cheating they they feel that they have enough evidence uh, based on statistics and, and whatever else they're doing that they can c conclusively prove that someone cheated. So um, to me, it seems, I, I think, you know, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt that it wasn't, it wasn't as basic as say Wesley complaining. They looked into it. I'm sure they must've yeah. had more evidence um, than simply that. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, this is very, uh, very disappointing. And, um, I mean, I, I think it's, it's, it's really unfortunate because you, you always want to give players the benefit of the doubt. You, you, really, you never really want to think that people are, are doing anything like that. And um, to me, though, it's very damning that they didn't, they didn't even just say in the final match. They said in both the semifinals yeah. and the finals, which means they, they had to have had something um, very conclusive from both of those matches. And uh, it's, it's, very, it's very rough, and this is one of the things that I would say that really does concern me with online chess um, is, is this issue of cheating. And I think this is why, as I have stressed over the past couple of days, you do have to have multiple webcams on a player to prevent the possibility of this occurring. And, um, and so it's, it's really shocking news, and I, I think for me it's very disheartening because, uh, again, I think what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get chess moving forward yeah. online and to see something like this it's it's certainly a big big black mark um on on chess yeah what's crazy to me is that okay so so there is kind of like one fall guy right like it, it's very mm -hmm. rare that such a giant public announcement gets made i feel like without going into too much detail um the, the way it's always been in chess it's, it's a little bit hush hush like someone gets in trouble and, you know, maybe the chess world knows about it, but it's not this big thing. But now that it is becoming a, a much bigger, you know, it, it has the potential to actually be a very large esport. Mm -hmm. um, it's crazy that this is out there and stuff like this does have to happen. But, you know, that this still doesn't really address what, what Wesley So said about Zavin, what Wesley, what Wesley So said about Sean. You know, there's still these big questions out there. And I just wonder if we're ever going to get answers or, you know, mm -hmm. if we're all because to me, it's not the end of the story right it's not the end of the story. was it just tigran like right this, tigran, this is true yeah so um because tigran has had good tournaments over the board hikaru which is what makes this even scarier this is essentially showing that who knows who out there is a super gm and can mm -hmm. can do this in a title tuesday in a in a, in a pro chess league final i mean it's it's insane yeah, you know, I was actually thinking about, uh, I actually was talking about this a little bit earlier, and I think I think I might try to set, set an example um, 
where I think I'm going to try to actually do a, do multiple multiple webcams when I, when I stream these competitive events from now on. Sort of just set it set a standard that I think people should try to follow if they can. Because to me, I, I think there is a lot of potential. You have a lot of players being signed with various different uh, esports organizations. There's a lot of there's a big push right now to try and have more online competition. So I was thinking with Title Tuesdays. Um, if I can, I'm probably going to try to just have multiple multiple webcams to set an example um, uh, for everybody because uh, I, th I think it's just one of those things that we have to have. And, and the other thing that I would say is really unfortunate about this is that Tiguan is someone that I have known for a very long time. I played against him online on the Internet Chess Club many, many years ago, uh, back back before chess.com sort of took over. And, and so it's someone that I've had a long history with. And um, to see someone do this, especially to see Tigron do this, it's, uh, it's, it's very sad. And certainly a black mark both for Tigron and also um, for Chess as well. And I think Ch Chess, if anything, loses out of this. Um, and we can only hope that it, it sets an example. It doesn't matter who you are. If you, if you do this, um, you will get caught sooner or later. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, there's, there, there's just going to be more questions associated. I, I mean, per personally... I look at this and I'm, I'm not even happy with, with the final result. Like Wesley mm -hmm. and Eric Hansen were in the comments section of the first thing. And they were saying that replay things like mm -hmm. just replay anybody who lost to Armenia replay. I think uh, one of those three teams is at the third place. Cause they lost to either St. Louis. Well, Did actually Louis... didn't we lose to uh, Armenia also? You're right. I'm pretty sure we did. I'm pretty the sure the New York Marshals yeah. were eliminated, and and Tigran had three and a half out of four or something that day. So uh, you know he mm -hmm. might have had three points. So um, yes, this is well, this is very true. Also, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think it's something you can go back and you can't replay it. Obviously, um, that that's just not not realistic. Uh, but certainly, I, I think you, you you just have to have to take it for what it is and move forward. Um, but you set an example. And I think this this is probably the harshest uh, punishment I've seen, uh, certainly publicly. At least. So we, we don't know what they've done, um, done, done, you know, behind yeah. the scenes. But in terms of a public announcement, this is by far and away, I think, the harshest, uh, the, the harshest um, punishment we've seen for anybody involving online cheating. And so I think it's you have to set the example and move forward. I don't think it's realistic to replay, but it's still, it, it feels bad. I think for Canada, it feels bad. I mean, now I kind of feel bad as well. I feel like it, it feels like for everyone who lost them, uh, it's just, uh, it's just unfortunate. I'm, I'm looking uh, if there's an article about us versus the, the Armenian Eagles. I don't. I don't remember who played. I uh, saw. So, I so saw Chesby was writing in the chat. Who was? Um, who was actually the lineup? Tiron played. Um, Parham played. Shigayev. Yes, Shigayev played. Yes, Shigayev played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I drew. I think I beat Shigayev from a losing position. I drew Parham in the final game. I believe Tigron played also. I don't remember who the fourth player was though. Um, yeah, me neither. Was it Shant? It was it Sean? It could have been Sean. I don't know who it was. Um, yeah, and we ha we have questions surrounding that too. That this is the other question. There there have been I think a lot of questions surrounding Zavin Andreazian and Shan Sargissian. I think Wesley actually pointed this out um, mm -hmm. in in his comments. So I, I it's 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 a tough situation to be in certainly. Um, and uh, I I don't know. I really I just don't know. And I don't think we're ever necessarily going to know what happened. Um, with some of these other players on their team. You know, um, so an interesting thing about Petrosian. Mm -hmm. So five years ago, Tigran was playing in Dubai Open, and mm -hmm. he was playing against the Georgian Grandmaster. You know this, right? I didn't know he played against him. I, yeah. This is the one where the Georgian Grandmaster cheated. He went into the yeah. restroom with the phone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, Tigran was like, this guy's going to the restroom a lot. What the hell's going on here? It turned out that there was an iPod Touch wrapped in toilet paper next to a toilet. that, And it wasn't Petrosian. It, it was Petrosian's opponent. Mm -hmm. And so I just wonder. I'm like, you start looking at, like, why would someone do this? Like, like, like why? Is it, you know, is, is there an actual, you know, story here to be made, like, you know, with COVID and everything like that, there's just no money. I mean, there's no income, there's no, or something like, or is it just maybe he saw that the proceedings for something like that, like weren't so strict. I, I don't know. And he just thought he could get away with it. I, I I mean, I honestly think probably a large part of the problem is that because it's not something that's happened a lot, 
there haven't been a lot of examples of people getting really just like punished for it. And so I think he thought that he, he could maybe just get away with it, honestly, and that, you know, the punishment won't be that severe, uh, is, is all I can guess. And this is why I, I've, I've stressed this before, is I think, you know, in the case like with Igor's Rouses, I think the, the, the ban, it was like five years or ten years, is absolutely correct. And I, I think the, the punishments for online or even over the board should be extremely strict like that. It should be sort of very draconian. It should be really, really harsh because you, you, you don't want people cheating. You don't want them even thinking they can get away with it or even attempting it in the first place. So I think, um, I think that's really the thing is there haven't been enough cases for people to realize that it doesn't matter who you are. If you do it, and you, you're going to get caught and you're just going to get banned. It's the end of your career. Yeah, and now I just wonder what's what's actually going to happen to him because Tigran has played over the board chess recently. Like he played in over he played over the board chess in the United States. I'm pretty sure he was playing in a World Open, unless I'm wrong. Um, mm -hmm. and well, I mean, I play I played him in the uh, I think I played him in the World Blitz and Rapid two years ago. I think in Saint Petersburg, if I'm not mistaken. So he does play over the board. Yeah, he does. You played him in in in, in uh, fast chess, right? Yeah, I played him in blitz. Blitz. I believe it was blitz. Okay. Might have been rapid, but yes. But like that's that that's like so crazy to me because it means that I like the, this guy. First of all, people are gonna start asking, you know, what, what were all his grand was his road to being a coming a grandmaster? Did it have stuff like this? You know, the same way when a guy in, in sports gets accused of performance enhancing drugs. Well, did he use it just for this moment, or was it his whole career and he was just getting away with it? You know. Um, yeah, I mean, my, my, as I said, he's, it, Tigran is someone that I've known for a very long time. I've seen him play many times uh, online and over the board. He's someone that I've, I've actually always been on pretty good terms with. Um, so it, it is quite rattling. I think, I mean, I, I think this is most likely one of the rare occasions and he, he thought he could get away with it and he, they, they would win and he would make some more money. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I mean, I, I don't think it's something he was doing when he was younger. Let, let, me, let me put it that way. I, I think this is probably a one-time thing. But again, even if it's one time, you cannot do this. You should absolutely get banned permanently, basically, if you, if you do this. Uh, I, you mean from all <laughs> competitive chess? No, no. I mean, I, I think you can't, you can't ban from over the board. But I think for sure with online, online tournaments that have prizes, you should just be permanently banned. Or maybe it should just be five years. Just like five-year ban, you can't play any, any tournaments with prizes. Yeah, that's uh, that's wild to me. Um, I actually saw that that Fide made a made a post on their website because with all this you know online stuff, these online mm -hmm. high prize events, th they want to know like what we think, what people think should be the punishment, and what people think should you know does this ban you from competitive chess? Period. Does it ban you for five years? Like um, that guy who mm -hmm. so Petrosian, his opponent cheated against him. That guy's not a grandmaster anymore. So, right, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Do you get it revoked for this? That guy definitely didn't cheat in a twenty thousand dollar game. Mm -hmm. I mean, right, right. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what you do. I don't think you can necessarily do something for over the board necessarily, um, since it's online. But I don't know. I, on the other hand, I would say if you're really trying to stamp it out and make make a point, make an example, then in a way you should it should apply to over the board in a way, mm -hmm. is what I would say. I, I think on some level maybe you should actually just like. It should apply to over the board because that really hammers home the point that you cannot do it. That is completely a hundred percent dead wrong. Um, so, so I, I don't know. I'm mixed, but in a way, as much as I hate to say this, I think maybe he should be banned from over the board because then people really understand you don't you you can't do this. You do this, your career is over. End of story. Um, yeah. And I, I think Tigran probably just thought that thought, thought that he could get away with it. That's that's what I think. Um, I think at the end of the day. It, what sports permanently ban you for just cheating one time? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. But is there, is there, is there a sport where you can make the claim that? Well, maybe, maybe track and field is a good one, right? Track and field is probably the best one because you can hundred percent say that you know using certain, certain, certain performance enhancing drugs do help you win. Period. Mm -hmm. Um. Baseball definitely doesn't, like football doesn't, because you can't, I don't think you can actually flat out prove that that leads to you winning, period. Um, so I don't think it happens in major sports. People are talking about CSGO and Dota. I don't know what the what the rules are with CSGO and Dota specifically. Maybe my chat can can let me know. Um, esports, esports all ban? Oh, is, is it just a perma ban in esports? Oh, so wow. if you cheat in CSGO, they're saying you're basically, you're finished. 
you cheat in CSGO, it's a permanent ban. So, wow, you know what? Crazy. Maybe, yeah, so maybe, you know, we, we're looking at this the wrong way. Maybe the fact is chess is moving online. Chess is going in that trend towards an eSport, and it should just be a permanent ban. Maybe maybe we should take a cue from, from the eSports, and it should just be a permanent ban. Um, Still so crazy, man. And, you know, the the... The worst thing is that we still have we we still have certain questions unanswered, and those questions revolve around some of the other talented Armenian players. And it's wild because if you go back several years, these guys are continuously getting better. They're continuously doing well, getting their titles, gaining the rating. They're now over mm -hmm. twenty six hundred, but like there's always this stain now. And yeah. How much do you do you have any idea how much of an influence Tigran is in his country? Levon is a huge influence. Is is Tigran? Um, I don't know a whole lot. I mean, uh, Tigran has not played much chess in recent years. Uh, I knew him probably in in like the early two thousands to, to like probably up until two thousand to like two thousand seven when he was still competing. And then at a certain point, he stopped really playing in a, in a lot of major events. So I sort of lost track of him until the last couple of years when he came back and started playing. Um, he obviously played a large role in on the teams that won the gold medals at the Olympiad in, I believe, 2008 and 2010 as well. So he certainly played a role. I don't think he's certainly not on the same level um, in terms of prominence uh, as Levon Aronian, certainly. Um, but I do think he is someone who who, who is well known um, for being one of the, one of the best best uh, players in Armenia. So it's a uh, yeah, very very difficult situation. So what's interesting is the team itself got banned. So does that mean just them or can any of them go be free agents for other teams? I mean, I well, based on what they're saying, it sounds the team had to be banned though. Even if it's only one player, the team has to be banned. Right. Well, as unfair as it feels like to people like Parham or to like uh, Mar Martirosian um or uh, I forget who the third player on the team was, but as unfair Ronald. as that feels Oh, it was Raunak. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, think about Raunak. He's just, he's, he's a, he's a young kid. He's for hire playing on, on the Armenian team. And like, he's just playing. And then this whole thing goes up in flames. So I think certainly the other players, assuming that they're, that this is specifically only uh Tigran Petrosian, then, um, then the, the other players certainly should be, uh, they, they should, they should not, they should be allowed to play for other teams. There, there should be, um, no reason that they can't, but certainly the team has to unfortunately pay the price because one of the players did cheat. Yeah, well, I, I, I see people are asking us um, about the games, but I, I think we did that already. I mean, if, if you want to go into, like, the specific moments, um, we can. But I, I feel like we already covered it. But it, but it's it's totally your call. Because I know you already covered that Queen D2 F4 thing in the Linier game, right? There was other moments. To me, honestly, that was the only moment that looked suspicious. From, from, the, three games that I, from, from the three games that I looked at, that was the only thing that looked suspicious to me. Um, and, and I think when you mash it up with the with the consistent looking down away from the mm -hmm. board, um, that that I think I, I suspect there has to be more than simply just matching up the moves. There, there's got to be some sort of visual evidence or something they have because I don't think they would have come out this publicly with the statement if they didn't have um, very firm and conclusive uh, proof. So I mean, we can take a look at the at, at if you can pull up the games. Um, from the semifinal match, we, we could take a look at take a look at those games. Oh, the semifinal match. Yeah, and I, I also, um, you know, I wanted to add something else for people who are talking and saying like you can't necessarily prevent things with multiple cams. The reason that I would argue that that's not true is a large part of what you see is where are the players looking at when they're playing the game. And of course, all chess players look away from the board from time to time. But when you have players doing that consistently on every single move. That is gonna that is gonna play a big role, and I think when you have secondary cameras, you certainly can um you certainly have that feeling that something something is uh something is amiss. Okay, I'm 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 looking, um, and you know what's interesting, uh, so Tigran in his match against Canada, mm -hmm. he lost two games. So he was two and two. Huh. And they still discovered that he was, I mean, I'm assuming that's not a typo. Like, you know, you, you make a press release like this, like it's very serious. Um, so here, I, I have two games. I can invite them to you. 
Okay, sure. I yeah, can, I can invite you to them. Um, you're on. You're on. Are you on Jim Hikar on Twitch? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Oh, we have these. Are these the finals games? Which games are these? No, semifinal. Oh, semifinal games. Okay, let me. I, I have to recrop. So just give me one second. Um, sure. One second. Yeah, and I mean, folks are saying, you know, um, it's it. it there, now, now here comes the speculation, which is the dangerous part. You know, mm -hmm. did, did the guy just show up? Was he rogue? Did he go rogue? And uh, no one knew this was going to happen. You know, that's what we hope for. We hope for it was just one guy. One guy should decided to show up and do this. But you know, it's it's. I don't want to say something like, "Well, that's unlikely," but it's it's you know it's that could be the case. A guy just decided to show up and, and play like this. I don't know. Right. Okay. So we do the game. So which which ones did he win? Then I guess is the question. He beat um, Dalmatinox. So I can invite you to them if you're in live chess right now. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. I am in live chess. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So here on the bottom right, this is one. One second. Okay, now I'm in live chess. Go ahead. Uh, did, did you not? Did you? Did no, no, I just logged into live chess. So go ahead and just re, re invite. Okay. Okay. Here's one. Okay. All right. So and this then, is the game that he won against Tari, right? Yeah, and I'll I'll just hit you with the second one now. Okay. Here's the second one. That's the game against Tarij. Okay, I don't see it, but. Oh, okay. I guess there's like a lot. It, it's fine. We'll, 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 let's just okay. take a look at this one game. Cause I, this, this one game that he won. Uh, the other question I was going to ask is, was the order, um, the games that he lost, were they at the end? Uh, I think they were They were at the end, yes. Really? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so he was 0-2 and, and then went, mm? Huh, yeah. okay. Because he's, he played Grishuk and Giri, uh yeah let, let, okay. i'll find the order for you yeah no that's fine i just I, i'm looking at the games that he won okay so let's see normal stuff pretty standard yeah he he lost two games against anish and then grishuk and then he won his last two games okay i mean i don't see anything weird in this game against tari just looking at it right off uh from the move selection i mean I, i'm assuming the moves were perfect but i i don't see anything really that strange to me i guess like bishop h3 and knight h4 maybe is a touch strange but not not anything that i i think a human wouldn't be able to find pretty pretty easily so to me when i look at this game against tari again i feel like it looks like a game where um where tari just played badly honestly right. um so i don't really see anything strange in this game just looking at it optically it looks i mean it looks pretty straightforward so all right the, what's the other one can you reinvite me to the other game sure this one I don't see anything really strange about. Here's the second one. Invite is coming in a second. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this this was this was with black, right? Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. Okay, so it is usual. Right, and you know, this was what I was gonna say that I thought was very weird was in that match. When he played Fabiano at the end, he played the Karo Khan. When literally every game that I saw him play in the World Blitz and Rapid Championship, he was always playing like a modern or some kind of Philidor with D6, E5, Knight of Six, Knight B D seven. So I, I did find that very odd. Um Okay, so this is all known. Bishop G four, this is all known. Um Yeah, okay. I mean it doesn't look Particularly strange in a sense, I suppose. Although bishop c5 looks like a weird move. Um, yeah, I think it's very hard to tell with these games because honestly, when I when I look at these games, it feels like um, it, it feels like uh, it just feels like Tari and Sarich just played bad chess, honestly, um, and got bad positions out of the opening. Um, so I, I I don't really see anything to me that looks very conclusive in, in that sense. Um, because most of these moves look pretty normal. I don't know. They, they look pretty normal to me, at least. I, I don't see anything in either of these games that look that look looks really strange. Yeah, I uh, I can only assume that over the course of uh, the let's 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 put it this way. Um, oh. 
I totally had the uh, I had the wrong scene. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oops. Um, so over the course of like, I guess the event. I, I don't. I don't know, man. Like, okay, so he. They have him on camera for three hours, right? Yeah. The whole time. So they see what he's doing. Mm -hmm, correct. Right. And. Well, that's that's the thing. Like on the broadcast, the viewer doesn't see Tigran the whole time. They see Tigran on camera when it's his position. When right. It's everybody else's. So they probably also evaluated his behavior on camera because they have that. Yeah, that, that's true, actually. I was going to say, you actually can just look at the behavior of the player on camera over the course of the whole whole event, I think. I assume the, I assume the footage is saved um, from, uh, from, from every match. So that is true. When you, when you look at the... Um, when, when you look at... Um, when, when you look at all that footage, you would think that, yeah, mm -hmm. there are certain mannerisms or certain things that players do that they do very frequently and certain things that they don't do at all. Um, so, yeah, there has to be more to it than simply matching up the moves. Yeah, because when you look at the games, it's, you know, he played solidly. He didn't make too many mistakes, but at the same time, um, his opponents sort of did some weird stuff and he mm -hmm. won. And, uh, yeah, but... I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say, really. I just, I think you have to believe that chess.com, they have hard conclusive proof whether it's through like the video footage or whether it's through like matching up the moves i i just don't think they would have done this if they weren't 100 percent sure yeah that, that's um, that's that's what i think um now and, I... and also since some some people in my chat are asking there was not a multiple camera angles like in the magnus tour or like in the st louis event for this event the pro chess league players were only required to have one webcam so for example what you guys see right now of me looking at the webcam this is the only webcam that i would have had to have for the pro chess league whereas for the magnus tour or the st louis event there was always a second webcam whether it was like having your phone as a webcam off to the side or having something behind you there was there were always multiple angles it was not it was not one webcam like the pro chess league yeah, there. Um, the clip that you, uh, I think you saw, you looked at on stream, mm -hmm. was from his game against Lenier, when he looked down ten times in thirty seconds. That correct? Yes, that was the most that I saw. Uh, yeah, and like I can give you an example. So when I did my twenty-four hour stream. I think there was a period, well, there were a couple periods when I was eating a salad, and I had the salad mm -hmm. right in front of me, so I was looking down quite a few times, mm -hmm. but even when I was looking down to make sure I'm eating my salad, I don't think I looked down that many times in that short of a span. Right. Um, so I, I suspect that that probably that, that clip um, played, played, played a role, I, I think. It must have. Well, the, the thing is, there, there was a lot more, because the clip that I had, he's playing Fabi. And oh, you have a different clip. Can you link me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, the way I did it, it's not a clip. I just took a part of the VOD. Like, I downloaded a part of the VOD. So I don't have, like, the exact clip. But... Do you know what time it was in the VOD? Yeah, like 1.14, I think. Okay. Um, like I'll, I'll try to find it. Just give me one second. Okay. Um, you said, okay, one second. Uh, not Junior SEC. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess I can try to find it, too. One second. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Um... Bishops and Eagles clash. Okay, here we go. Whoa, one second. I think it's around 114. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll adjust it. You said 114. Go here. Oh, there's a, there's, there's is a little bit different because on Twitch, the VOD is... Uh, it's like a slightly different pace. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so, you know, it's, um, it's like around 129. 129 okay yeah 129 there's like 15 minutes of like a like intro so they Sorry. pull up to this sure okay this might have to be small for 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 this will be a little bit small unfortunately i think i or actually let, let me let me let me play around just give me one second let me uh let me try to uh adjust you around levy Sure. Here. Do you want a Do you want a YouTube link? Is that better? No, no, no. It's fine. I've I've got it actually. It's just it's it's hard because I'm tr I'm trying to somehow. Um. Hmm. How do I do this? Uh, it's gonna be hard. One second. 
whatever. I think I'll, I'll I'll just I'll just get rid of the chat for one second. Just one second. Just turn off the chat Bye, for chat. one second. Just for one second. Okay. So um, we'll talk in a second. Chat. Okay. So you said 129, right? Okay. Yeah. It 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 all kind of begins around. Okay. Like yeah. Okay. Like around here, you just notice that like he just looking down all a lot. Okay. I saw him look down once, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm watching it. Oh, stopping Queen C one check. That's very important. Like Queen C four. Yeah, okay. He looks I, I... down. Yeah, yeah, like it, it's a lot less than 10, but I think if you start it around like one, maybe like 128, you know, 40, in a minute, it's like seven or eight times. And the position is insanely complicated. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't, I can't, I mean, I can kind of give you my, 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 exactly what I think, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, here's the problem that I see. The problem is that when, when I when I look at this very closely, uh, and I'm just looking at, at, at the visuals of it, um, the, the reason that it looks weird is because you can tell it's very clear where the eye line is, he's, what he's looking at straight ahead. And then, like, it feels like he just starts looking down. And it's not, it's not like, you know, it's just not like, it's, it, there's no, like, surprise. So, like, I think if you're looking down, or you like, let's just say, for example, I look down, I see a spider on the floor or something. There's going to be a reaction from it. But there's no mm -hmm. reaction. It's just a very, like, subtle, just con consistently looking down. And, um, and so, I, I don't know. To me, yeah, this looks very strange. But let me, let me keep going. Let me see a little bit more. Yeah. Are you watching it? Yeah, I am watching. I'm, I'm looking at the visuals. Yeah, see, actually, you know, I mean, as, as I look even closer at it, it, it does look really weird because as I'm looking, it's very clear at this moment at 129.59 in the VOD. Like, he's mm -hmm. looking at the board. He's trying to calculate the board, and then he does this in, he does this weird, like, look down for half a second. And also, look at, also take a look at Fabiano as a, as a good example. Mm -hmm. Fabiano's face is glued to the monitor. He's literally calculating he's calculating on the board like his face is just 100 percent glued to the board so um i mean i assume there has to be more than this but it, it seems to me that it, it's it looks very obvious um now i also will say this like if he's looking uh -huh. um if he's looking at something and he's looking at something that shows him two or three options it is not difficult to look down and play the third best option you know what I mean? Like, if mm -hmm. you see the third best option, still gives you a yeah, good advantage. Yeah, but, but but I'm saying like I I I'm willing to bet you bet you a good chunk of change that if you look at, if you look at the way Fabiano is in this video, or you mm -hmm. look at me, or you look at Magnus, whenever the game is tense, it's really nervous and it's crunch time, we're literally glued to the board. We're literally glued yep. to the screen, looking at the screen. There's there's no like there's no random movement anywhere else because it's crunch time. And mm -hmm. and so I think to me when I look at the contrast between Fabiano and Tigrano. I think um, I think it's pretty clear, actually. And I know Chad's gonna act all weird and say I look at the ceiling. I might look at the ceiling one time, you guys. I'm not looking at the ceiling every five seconds. So seriously, don't even suggest that, or else I'll ban you. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty serious. You know, that's a pretty serious thing to to joke about. And at the same time, like, it's uh, it, it it is very true. Like mm -hmm. his opponents are staring dead into a screen. They are yeah, not like Fa looking. Fabiano, literally, he's glued. You can tell, like, the, the, the visual, he might look a touch up, higher up at the board, like, I guess towards, yeah. like, G7 or G8, but it's, mm -hmm. it's literally within a certain um, within a certain range all the time. Yeah. And, like, he's staring at a screen. Like, you could yeah. just, like, it's yeah. not, it's, yeah, so. Um, well, we could, uh, we could table this for now, and people are telling us that Hans is winning, so. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think... I, there has to be more. There's definitely more to it than um, that. Than that, that's what I would say. I, th I think there has to be more to it. There, there just has to be more, more to it. Um, well, they gotta. Than, they, I, I feel like they need to give the public more. I feel like people need 
information. I, I feel like mm-hmm. us just sitting here and being, you know, inflammatory and accusing, you know, each other is mm-hmm. dangerous. And it's much better to just be like, here's the thing. But I will say this, um, people want to know what he violated. Like people want to know at what moment he is being accused of something. You know what I mean? You can't just say right. that he this did is, something. This is true. Yeah. No, this is very true. This is very true. Um, yeah, actually, I, I think on my own, I'm going to pull up the chest. I'm going to see if I can't find a match against Magnus as, as a perfect example um, uh, somewhere in here. I know it's a long time. It's like a long... When did I play Magnus? Does anybody know? Uh, at this point? Yeah, when did I, how long ago was it that I played Magnus? I don't know. Uh, July, uh, uh, September. Okay, not, I, not, okay not I, think, I think I found, I, I found one. So, like, I'm just going to, like, show a crunch time here. So okay, I'm I'm literally showing showing myself and Magnus. This, this I think is a perfect example. You, you can you can find it too, Levy, and you'll 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 see. Like literally, uh-huh. like look at the eye movement. This this is like this is this is exactly a perfect example. Look at this, and this is in the crunch time too. Look look at this. If you look at both of us, our eye movement we're literally gl- we're literally glued to the board. Like I look off to the right to see the clock because I have the clock and the um I have the clock and uh, the zoom zoom video off on one side, but the eye range for both of us we're literally you can tell there's not a lot of movement, um, at all. It's crazy. Yeah, you can tell. So to me, to me, I think this this is a perfect example, um, of what's going on. Yeah, I mean, at, at at the end of the day, like, on what evidence, you know, mm-hmm. d- d- does does this occur? Yeah. Does it occur under okay, your play was way too good in these games, and if we line up uh, the moments on camera that you were looking down with good, like, what There's is that too? Yeah, yeah. Like, what? When? You know, if if someone goes to the bathroom and they have a phone, like, they're guilty. You know. But right, of course. Mm-hmm. What if he just sits there and says he didn't do anything? No one saw anything. There was no proctor. Yeah. So it's circumstantial, right? It's like you lead, mm-hmm. you know, it's like all the clues line up, but there's no, no one saw him do it. Right, exactly. Yeah. No, I, it's, I mean, it's an unfortunate situation. That, that's what I would say. I mean, really, really unfortunate. But I think there is, I mean, I, I think when you look at his performance throughout the whole, whole event, um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's it's really unfortunate, but I, I think they uh, I think there has to be proof. I, I and and apparently they ma- his engine moves are matched to eye movements as well. Apparently is what I, what I what I'm hearing. So okay. um, yeah, that's that that's it's what it is. And um, I think it, it's it says a lot. I think it shows how advanced our technology has become that people get caught. And it really doesn't matter who you are. If you cheat, you're going to get caught. It's just that simple. And so. Um, I mean, it's it's really unfortunate. I think for Armenia, it's obviously obviously Tigran should not have done this, um, but it's it's what it is, and you can't do that. Just that simple. You just can't do that. Yeah. So, absolutely. in terms of easy yeah. easy fixes, also to be clear, you guys, I think the obvious thing is you can't do webcam one webcam. Hundred percent, it has to be two or three. End of story. Nothing else. Um, and I think in terms of cheat detection, this is one thing that I really, I do, I, I think what Chess24 did and also what St. Louis did with their events is absolutely critical in terms, in terms of avoiding any questions at all, which is basically you have to have multiple angles. Um, it's just that simple. Yeah. And, um, and so... Question for you. Um, yeah. rem- remember there was this bullet championship Chess.com did? Mm-hmm. You were supposed to play Bortnik, right? I did play Bortnik, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so didn't he like not have a webcam until an hour beforehand or something crazy? Yeah, like, I think that's correct. Yes, I think so. Yeah, like that's insane. Like chess players, we need to get with the program. Like you need to have mm-hmm. at least two. Maybe chess.com supplies them if you're a top guy. Like you got to have one there, one yeah. there. We're not going to put a camcorder behind you, but we will mm-hmm. if it's how much money was on the line. Some of these events are playing two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. How can there not? Well, be extra... these were the these were the Magnus events. But I was also going right. to add, since several people have asked, there was audio. So when I did the St. Louis event, you have the secondary. There was mm-hmm. audio. There was audio there, and then with the, the uh, Chess Twenty Four one, there was also audio when you had the cam behind you. Um, mm-hmm. So there there was audio. To to be very clear. 
And are those cameras just recording you or are they live streaming you? Um, so with Chess24, that, that was an actual recording. And with, um, with uh, St. Louis, it was, a li it was live. You were in the Zoom call live at the same time. Okay. Okay. So, so that's that, that, those were the differences between the two events, but they both had multiple angles. And I think you, it's just one of those things. You just have to do it. I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to think of, um, of how strict the rules are going to be enforced. So let's say you have another top event. You put a mm -hmm. camcorder behind you, and mm -hmm. the camcorder is, you know, is recording footage of you. Mm -hmm. um, and let's say someone wants to cheat, okay? Let's just let, – I'm going to put this out there. I'm not saying any of the top mm -hmm. guys do it. I'm just saying – and then – they request the footage of the webcam behind you. Say, "Oh, it it died. Mm -hmm. It stopped recording." Yes. <laughs> well, you, this is actually. Forfeited? Well, like, this you, is, is actually this is actually a big this is this is kind of kind of a big issue because the problem is when you do recordings, you're talking about hours and hours of footage. So every day you're talking about five hours of footage, and for most of us, like even myself, I only had I think two um two micro U, two micro SSD or, or or whatever the cards are. So after like one day one of the cards is already dead. So after two days, I just had to record over what I had, which is actually the, the problem I think with doing that versus doing, um, versus doing the, uh, doing the live stream in zoom. Um, okay. so, so, so like that's, mm -hmm. that's crazy because like with the top guys, you're like, they're no cheaters, but if, right. if something like this happens, <laughs> you just record over day one footage. Nobody even like, you know what I mean? It's, 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 uh, it, it's an issue. Um, yeah. I, I think, you know, I think, I think at the end of the day, it's it's one of those things where again it always comes down to the risk reward unfortunately and for all of us who are playing these competitive events these magnus type events you're never gonna you're never gonna take the risk because obviously we have a career to protect you know say someone like me i obviously have a stream to protect as well like the risk it, the risk to reward is not there but something like this where T tigran is playing an event um i think he thought you know it's okay it's a, it's a few thousand dollars maybe or something mm -hmm. but like it's not gonna have a big effect it's not like there's anything for him to lose lose at the end of the day, um, and so I think that's kind of the problem. It's always the risk reward that's there, and it's just uh, it's yeah, it's really disheartening. Uh, that's that's what I would say. Yeah, it sucks. I I don't I don't have I mostly have questions is what I have, and I I don't I don't have answers. So for me, it's just a conversation basically with myself <laughs> more than anything else. Yeah, uh, I'm. It's, yeah it's it's very very frustrating um but you know if if i look at it from from the perspective of, of chess try, what we're doing trying to grow chess as much as i hate to say this i really think the punishment should be super harsh i think they the, the fide probably should take away mm -hmm. his title i really do because because the problem is if you don't set a standard and, and basically say it is the equivalent to cheating over the board then I think people are still going to think, well, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can get away with it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, unfortunately, you have to set a really strong standard, a really harsh standard. So people are going to people are going to think twice about it. It's not going to be like, well, okay, I'm banned online, but hey, I can still go to some tournament in Italy or some tournament in Spain and play. Um, donated $3. So what happens when your dog eats the? I mean, this doesn't exist anywhere else, right? Like. Okay, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'm, the only thing that I can think of online and then, you know, live, if a guy is caught cheating in mm -hmm. poker, online poker, is that guy banned from the World Series? Um, How does that work? Well, I mean, I guess that's the question. What, what, I don't think anyone, if the case has been resolved involving Mike, Mike Postle, actually, because he's, I think, cheated. Or, he cheated, um, I think, live, actually, is, is my understanding, at one of the casinos. And I don't think that's been resolved yet, but I think... Um, I think that that probably you can still play as my guess. Or I don't know if you're banned, but um yeah, I I'm 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 looking, but I I don't really see a conclusive answer. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can get kicked out of a casino, but what if you walk down the street to the other casino? Yeah, no, this is true. This is true. Um so yeah, I, um... yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but as someone said, there is no like, there's no governing body for poker in the way that there is for chess with like Fide. So it it is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I hate to say that because it, it, like saying that it doesn't it doesn't feel right on one hand. But I think you you got it. You have to stamp it out. So you almost have to have as harsh have the harshest measures possible. 
Because someone who's 2,600 is going to consider it. Someone who's had a long career, who's yep. well-respected and established. He's played a lot of lot of classical tournaments, a lot of rap, rapid and blitz tournaments. Um, then that, that shows that clearly the punishments are not harsh enough and you're not really getting... The point, it's not, it's not being hammered home that you cannot do this. Like, it's the end of your career. Yeah, I, I, I agree. We'll see what happens. Um... I mean, for all we know, Petrosian is sleeping right now. Yeah, it's actually really it's really late in Armenia. I mean, I, I'm assuming that probably Chess.com informed them ahead of time, but yeah. Yeah, so this guy's going to wake up, and I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, because like I said, uh, he, he can fight this. He can fight this to the death, you know? He could just add and do it. Like, where's your proof? Prove it. Mm -hmm. Prove when it happened. Well, I think that's kind of the point. Like chess.com or their their cheating team, I assume mm -hmm. they have the proof. And if he wants to like go to court or sue them, then I'm sure that all of this stuff will come out. But I assume their right. policy is probably something like they're not they're not going to reveal it unless that unless that happens. But I think um, I think for sure th they have to have something conclusive. And and I I, I bet they probably share it with Fide. Actually, I, I I would bet Fide probably has has seen it. Is my guess. Um, and that certainly would be what they should do. I um, mean, any of these cases is they should Fide should be made aware of this. Oh, absolutely! I, I think F Fide has a new like a news uh, page, and so if you go to their blog, um, it was it was a while back, but they were talking about like how to do online events, and oh so fide president addre like addresses you know anti-cheating policies here i could i could i could this sure yeah just just, it, just link me to it. it it's not that you know it's it's not that huge but uh no but i mean but i mean still like oh no no i think i actually i i, I read about this right I, I think i've i've read this article i actually read this on my sh on my stream when i talked about it before um you know and i mean i think this is this is it's really really it's 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 a tough tough situation because there's I, I feel like there's so much potential for chess, but you have to find a way to just make sure everything is clean. Um like huh. It's just it's all very gross. Um but but I think at the end of the day, as as much as I hate saying this, I think you should be as um as harsh as you as, as harsh as possible. I think you right. have to do that to prove the point. Because to me, I'll, I'll give you another example. There, there have been a couple of people, there are two players in particular, who have been caught cheating in the past. And they've served a sentence of like one or two years, and they've come back and played. And um, the, the players are, are Tal Baron. Um, he cheated, in, I think, in a Title Tuesday event many years ago on chess.com. And the second player, um, I believe, was this, this player, Falco Bindrich. And his case mm -hmm. was different because he actually cheated over the board in the Bundesliga, where he got caught with a phone in the restroom. Um, but they both serve, they both kind of serve their sentences, and now they're playing. Tal Baron's just playing over the board. I've, I've seen him many tournaments. Very nice guy. Um, Falco Bindrich also he's played like Isle of Man, Gibraltar, many of these tournaments. And, um, and and you know one of the things is there are other top players. I won't say who, um, but I've spoken to a couple of, of other top players, especially about the case with Bindrich, and they thought like um, it's like they thought it's really disgusting that basically he goes away for a year and then he comes back and he can just play as though nothing nothing happened. Um, yeah, and so, you know, I, I think you just, you have to sort of set the present, be as harsh as possible. Because it's just, it's so against the game. I mean, it's just so against everything that we stand for um, as, as, as a chess community. Like, you want the best player to win. And there's, right. you know, when, when you look at, at, you know, like all the top players, it generally is the same set of players at the top. And there's, a, there's an integrity that I think we have to uphold. So I really, I, I, I think, I mean, I think there should be probably some over-the-board punishment as well for this.